This is a video for the level one quadruped hip car. Level one just means there's no kind of blocks or no kind of additional weight. Quadruped just means the hands and knees position. For this setup, you'll be in that hands and knees position, stacking the wrist over the shoulder, excuse me, under the shoulders, stacking the knees under the hips would think a relatively flat back. If I was to place a cup of water on the small of the lower back, you would want that water to stay still the entire time. From there, you're gonna go into a car's rep, trying to move your hip in the greatest range of motion you can, keeping your body still. If I was on my right side, my first position, position one, knee's gonna come up to the chest as much as I can. Just take note, my spine has stayed still. From there, I'm gonna rotate my hip out and then come out to the side like a dog going to the bathroom. From there, I'm gonna rotate my hip in as I extend the hip or kick my heel up to the sky as much as I can. Then from there, I'm gonna come back up to the starting position and retrace my steps, kicking back up, out to the side, rotating, and then coming all the way back up. A rep in real time would look like this. A few keys with that one are one, to get yourself in a good setup position, stacking the wrist, pushing the floor away under the shoulders, and then stacking the knees under the hips. Second, as I mentioned in the start of the video, you're trying to move your hip and keep the rest of your body still, particularly keeping your spine still. So if there was a cup of water on your lower back, your goal would be to not spill that water as you draw the biggest circle that you can. The last piece is timing and tempo. With our cars, your goal is range of motion, and you wanna take as much time as needed to get into that range of motion and to make sure that you're in your end range of motion. So if a rep takes 10 to 15 seconds and you're putting in good intent, that is good. If a rep is only taking you one to two seconds, you're probably going too fast and you're probably not getting into the end range of motion that you need to. Follow for the prescribed sets, reps, and time, and make sure to do reps on both sides.